right now there's a huge problem with bias in data. And I believe that it's a problem because we didn't start with, with the perspective, different perspectives to begin with. So our data comes in as bias, whether it's been harnessed as bias data or over time it's not been corrected as bias data. And so one of the issues that we, one of the things we have to make better is including people in such a way that no one is identifiable by themselves, which means that you need the data to be more homogenous. When I say homogenous groups, what I mean is that it's often difficult to not identify someone within a homogenous data set who is an outlier, by, because by their very definition, you can identify an outlier in respect to a homogenous data set. So what I, I'm trying to do is make a homogenous data set be more representative and inclusive of someone who is an outlier so that they are not detectable or the data set in general is more heterogeneous. For the data to be more homogenous, you need to include more people who are from those underrepresented data sets. And I think that that's still uh, work that has to be done. I don't think it's a solved problem. And I'm really happy that there, there are people, researchers such as myself who are trying to make it more, more ethical and, more, um, and make, more da make data sets more properly represented by all. So I'm working on making sure that persons are not identifiable who are underrepresented within data sets. And part of this is by making sure that we have more diverse pers perspectives within data sets. Because right now, if someone is uh, not within that homogenous data set, they're more likely to be identified because they're an outlier. And I think that we in general can do a better job in making those persons protected by having more people who are underrepresented and have more diverse, come from more diverse groups represented within data sets.